Marian, uh, before we continue with other matter, because in the first part you mentioned that you were sexually abused. Yes. Does this lead you, you know, to turn to God? Because normally those abuse victim, they either felt that they are so abandoned that they are so hurt, they go into drugs, they just don't care about their life. But in your case, it's uh, totally different. You turn to God. Is it because of that experience that you saw you needed God in your life? How does God transform you? Oh, how does God enters into your life? Because at that moment, I'm sure, or oh, maybe you were so young, you don't understand what is going on. Well, <laughs> all I can say in very briefly is that by God's grace, I have experienced that He heals through being present. Mm -hmm. um, for me, the whole experience, okay, I was abused from the age of four till the age of 14. Mm, okay. After that, I went through a period where I began to realize what had really happened. The effects were there. Even as a very young child, I remember feeling there's something not right, as if inwardly, I had to pretend. On the outside, I had to be the perfect girl, mm -hmm. you know, always behaving correctly, never saying anything negative about my family, all part of the whole incestuous atmosphere. But inwardly, I felt differently. I felt alone, I felt misunderstood. I knew something wasn't right. There was no harmony between the exterior and the interior. interior. When I began to realize the impact of what had happened, I became, how I realized that is the first step, is I suddenly, when I left home to go to Paris, I suddenly felt a lot of physical pain that could not be explained. There were fear attacks. I'm a strong person, as everybody tells me who knows me. It was like, where's this fear coming from? It's not logical, but it was very strong. And then I began to think, Lord, how? There was one moment when I really realized the way that our Lord wanted me to go. Mm -hmm. I was in Paris, but my mother was very ill. One point, I got a phone call from Belgium. Um, my dad, mom needs an operation. Um, the doctor says in 70% she won't make it. If she does make it, she will have to have complete bed rest for six months. I knew my mother. I knew if I am not going home, she won't allow anyone to look after her. If she comes through this operation, she won't rest. So I felt it's right to go and look after her, and I did. She came through the operation, and for six months, I looked after her. And those were six very difficult months, because the impact of the incest was very present and yet I could not show it to anyone. Yes. There was no one I could share this with. Mm -hmm. You're so alone. Very alone. Mm -hmm. There was one night where I was in unbelievable severe pain and I remember saying to God, God, for goodness sake, if I did not believe in the resurrection, if I was not convinced intellectually that Jesus rose from the dead, I'd say goodbye to you. Yes, yes. Enough is enough. Yes. But even as I was saying this, I felt more sadness than anger, more grief yes. than anything else. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep restlessly. The strange thing is when I woke up, there was an incredible sense of peace. The night before was the darkest night I'd had until then. Mm -hmm. I felt God abandon you yeah <clears throat> I felt completely alone I cried to him and he left me in the darkness but when I woke up there was entire peace and the first words that came to me was look for human help because I work through Two human beings, beings. Okay. in a way it was a preparation <clears throat> for yeah. mediation when he comes to us in the sacraments it's through a priest it's through real bread that is turned into his flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand it at the time at all. Mm -hmm. But I did know 
I need to look for human help. I can't get through this on my own. But who? God, by his grace, because I was engaged at that point to an Englishman, I went to England, married, lived there, and then he gave me a lady who knew and understood that healing mainly comes through being present, listening, and praying. Mm -hmm. She also said to me, I know you, Marianne, therapy won't help you because your main pain lies in your relationship with God. And she mm -hmm. was right. Mm -hmm. I loved God. I always had done that to his grace. Mm -hmm. It's not my choice to love him. Yes. He gives me love for him. Mm -hmm. And even as a child, that was very strong in me. I loved him passionately. I still do. Mm -hmm. But I did not feel his love. He felt, he felt like an, an iceberg, cold and distant. Mm -hmm. And she knew mm -hmm. that this is something that needed healing. And that if that was healed, all the other things would fall into place. Mm -hmm. So she guided me for seven years, first very intense, weekly. And we would together and I would tell her what had happened, when, how, mm -hmm. and then she would take me into prayer. And gradually healing happened until the moment came that I knew the healing was there. Not fully, even today. Complete healing is only for heaven. And mm -hmm. one of the things I learned even recently is when you've had such a traumatic childhood like mine was, you continue to need the grace of God. You can never, ever rely on yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when the scars, when the pain comes to the fore again, he is still there and he can guide you. So even now there are occasions that I notice, uh-uh, the absence of that security that I never had as a child, I'm looking for it in different ways. It won't work. Mm -hmm. Christ and he alone will be my security. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's now rare that those moments of pain are still there because healing continues. The more we love him, the more he loves us, the more there is peace and joy. When I came to the point of that first and you know, knowing I'm healed. For the first time, I was really thankful for being a woman. Mm -hmm. When you said you're healed, that means you say you are free. You feel suddenly you are now free, you know, from yes. the pain, from the hurt you have yeah. been encountering. Itutuloy po namin aming magandang discussion sa pagbabalik ng Power Tonight with Elvira. <laughs> 